And a good day, all of you. John Henderson Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another rambling edition today. Creature Comfort Bebo Pilsner Water. 4.9% ABV. This is a German Pilsner style. Um, the brewery is based here in Athens, Georgia. Picked this up the other day at Trader Joe's. Of course, the, the day before that, I did another Pilsner that was, or the day before, a few days ago, that was the uh, Simpler Times Pilsner. That beer sold exclusively at Trader Joe's, but this is another one I found. So, but the brewery's in Athens, which is about uh, 45 minutes to an hour away where I live here. Take 85 southbound, northbound, excuse me, and you're right there. Home of the world champion, national champion Georgia Bulldogs. Here's what the beer looks like, as you can see. Ain't too bad. Nice look. 4.9%. Um, the only beer I've had from them has been the, uh, I guess is their flagship, is the tr tr Tropicana... Tropicana, whatever their IPA, their tropical flavored IPA, which is, I guess, a American Imperial or Standard IPA. Uh, that was the only beer I've had from them, but, you know, again, looking to really get in and try a lot of different breweries here in the state of Georgia since I moved up here back in now, it's, wow, it seems like almost a year, like a year now, well, it will be a year, but it seems like it was a long time ago that was up here in uh, good old Georgia. Left Mobile to uh, July of 2021. So anyway, here's what the beer looks like. There's sort of a cereal smell to this. Like some cornflake smell. A little noble hops and definitely in this scent, which smells quite good. Trying to get the camera with the, the light lighting and everything, you know. Of course, today was been a very dreary day, so I had to kind of uh, put the uh, windows up, try to get the light in. But you know, it's very, very dry, very not nah, very dreary day. So I had to do it indoors. I usually do it uh, by the kitchen. So I'm trying to find other spots to do it around my apartment. Here, there, just the lighting is always kind of important. So. Here we go. Oh yeah, uh, scores. Uh, Three point five nine out of uh, five on Untap. Uh, Beer Advocate gives it a eighty-eight score. So they both are very positive about this. And so far, I can see why this is actually decent for Pilsner. Definitely noble hops flavor. This is like a little mild, mild, mild sweetness. There's a hop flavor in this, um, but I can't kind of mistake what it is. It's like a brand or sort of flavor, but it has some nice mild, not overly sweet, but just really decent. It's almost like a, a, a Czech style Pilsner that I'm getting. It reminds me a little of the Lagunitas Czech Pils, uh, of course Lagunitas Brewery. Quite good, and haven't seen much of it since I moved up here. Um, and it's a few Lagunitas beers that I do see. Obviously, it's the IPA, and, and that's it, really. I haven't seen the something something ale. I haven't seen the Colossal, which a friend of mine has actually sent me a uh, uh, sent me a picture of it uh, the other day. Um, distribution for that brewery is pretty good now, since it's under the which I've been going on now, what, six years now? So this is under the Heineken on uh, 
family in Heineken International. So. Yeah, this is sort of a Czech, a Czechoslovakian Czech style flavor I'm getting from this. Reminds me of that Lagunitas. This reminds me a little of the Mama Yell, Yell little pills. But this is quite good for these other German Euro Pilsners, which tend to be very flavorful. So I'm guessing what <clears throat> Creature Comfort is what is Trunk Comforts are trying to do. I'd say that I think they're doing quite good. This isn't bad. And it's at 4.9%. This is not going to put you in any bad, not extra strong, it might put you in a bad place. Yeah, this is very, very flavorful. And I definitely could see some you know, pounding a lot of this. And, you know, we got some, uh, you know, some, some, some oysters, you know, raw oysters, if, you know. I haven't tried any of the seafood here in Georgia yet, you know, off the water, fresh, you know, in Virginia, and the, you know, there wouldn't be no oysters in Virginia. Uh, now, if I was living down back in the Gulf Coast region, yeah, definitely, I could pound a couple of those. Some, yeah, some nice shellfish would go good with this. And this is a really, or a seafood boil, and this would pair well with this. Again, as I've said, um, I'm going to the brewery, I have been to like what, two breweries since I've moved up, been up here, Social Fox, Slow Pour. Um, I will, my friend was here this past weekend and, you know, she's not really a beer, big beer drinker. So, you know, I had a plan, but they I was going to go take her that Saturday, but they were doing, they were doing a party, a private party at, at the Sweetwater Brewery. Uh, but yeah, but, um... Looking to really make my go a lot more tours of a lot of the breweries, not just in the Atlanta area, but even go further out. Like I said, even though Terrapin is now owned by Molson Coors, but go further out to Athens, further out to other spots, you know. Check out some of the scenes here. You know, LaGrange, Wild Leap, um, as I mentioned, um, Creature Comfort, uh, Sweetwater, uh, Trucker, do you have the Iron Medder <coughs> Brewery? And there are a few others, you know, even some that are like around Macon area, even around um, near Savannah, you know, places like that. So I'm looking to really kind of get, explore and uh, do a little sightseeing, you know, why not? And it comes to beer. So um, this is good. I'm, am I going to put this up with, say... You know, the Lacanitas or even a Pilsner Urkel. Mm, they, they will probably win outright, but they could give it a run for its money. So, a nice Czech, Czech, uh, Czech style feel to this. The flavor is really good, and I'm, I'm liking it. So, I'll go all the way on this one. This is, um, I'm going to go the same score. I think probably, you know, 89. 8.9. Uh, this is right at B plus, close to an A minus. So um, I think Creature Cover done a pretty good job. And again, if you've ever tried that there, Tropicana flavored, Tropicali, I think I, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Again, I don't get that a lot, you know. But that's a really good, oh, a really good IPA or a tropical flavored IPA if you're looking right in the line of a... Um, Aluminum style, but tend to be more fruit flavored, fruit for, flavored, fruit forward, and the West Coast IPA was tend to be very more hoppy. But but this could hold its own. So um, for a pilsner, so I'm gonna go about single or eight point nine. So this is a mm, a minus. Right, born on a minus for this one, the Bebo. By Creature Comforts, really good. Check out the brewery in Athens. I am going to be checking out the brewery, so try it out. You may like it or not. Hmm? Jean Anderson Pierre, the Beverage Ramble. Team. Keep on watching as always. Cheers, live, laugh, and love. Bebo, 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 Bebo. Pilsner, Bebo, Bebo, Bebo. Only at Bebo's. No copyright, just saying.